Hello and welcome back to Phil Zone and welcome to part 20 of Learning Piece by Piece, the complete beginner's guide to working in Motion 5. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be updated when future videos in the series are uploaded. And don't forget to come and join us in our new Facebook group. Um, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. And there you'll be able to get some extra additional support for your journey in motion. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the behaviours and today looking at the audio behaviour and seeing what that can do for us. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so you see I've got my audio loaded in here, imported, but I can't see it. Click on this little audio tab and it'll bring up this little box. You can alter some of the, adjust the volume, etc. a few things in this pane. If you click back on layers, you want to see it in the timeline, then click that little icon in the corner there. Um, but we don't need that. For this, we're going to let the audio behavior do the work. So you can see I've got a little line here. And to that line, the first thing that I'm going to do is resize it. And we're going to set that to 40%. And once we've done that, I'm going to hit this replicate button. Click on shape, circle, arrangement, outline. And then we're going to align the angle and set the number of points to 40. Now that brings up that little um, cog shape wheel. We're going to open up scale and scale randomness. Because these are the things we're going to use. And we're going to add parameter behavior audio to scale Y. And we're going to set the source to our background music. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the replicator cell again and we're going to scale randomness. We're going to make that 10 and then we're going to add parameter behavior randomize. Play with the settings here as we did before previous in the previous tutorial till you've got it as you want it. And there it goes. It's bouncing around to the music. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to reset that to center it, close that group add a new group and to that group we're going to add a circle click shift option press shift option and click and drag and then you get a perfect circle and then we will reset the position parameter to center it to the shape we're going to change it to a gradient we'll set this point to a dark gray and this point to a light gray and then we'll move the light gray across till it's around about there. Then go to distortion, add sphere, reduce the radius until it fits nicely inside your replicator circle. Okay, so close that group. And now just make it a little bit prettier. We're going to create a new group and add a rectangle. We'll place that over the top. Then what we'll do is go to gradient, select rainbow up to you what you select and then we will edit the gradient as we've done before in previous tutorials and we'll just shift that around until we've got it as we want it but what i'm going to do is just bring the the purple in a little bit and the red in a little bit so that they don't get hidden by the outside okay then we will to the rectangle add an image mask grab our replicator group and pop that in the mask. And there you have it, it's bouncing around to the beat. So let's have a look at some of the controls in the control panel. Okay, well you've seen the well where we um, set it to the music. You can set it to respond to the amplitude, which is the size of the peaks, or you can set it to the transients which is the to respond to the rapid changes in frequency. You can set the graph to show the bass, the mids and the trebles. And you can um, so use the low frequency slider or the high frequency slider to alter the graph in this way. You can set the floor so that it will omit some of the lower range notes and you can set the ceiling so that it will emit or not respond to some of the higher notes. You can set the smoothness of the movement um, here 
Let's reset that. And there are other settings. You can set it to sharp um, peaks or smooth peaks. There are four different apply modes and each one of those will give you a different effect. So play around with those to see what actually happens. And the delay, um, we're not gonna bother with. And we can set the scale to increase um, the size of the, um, of the object from here. Okay, so let's have a look at creating an audio visualizer. Well, I've got a line, and the first thing I'm going to do to that line again is rescale it because I know what size I need it to be. I'm going to rescale it to 85. So with that line, I'm then going to replicate it again, and then this time I'm going to set it to um, a line. And we're going to set the start point to minus 25, just to get them closer together. We're going to have them or originate from the center and we're going to, again, we're going to go to scale and scale randomness and open these two things up. We'll set scale Y to 20. We'll go to scale Y now and then add parameter behavior audio. And we're going to set it to our background music Everything else looks okay. Set the scale, we'll bring the scale down to about half. And then we have the moving to the beat, but not very, not very nicely. Let's go back to our replicator scale. Scale randomness on Y, we'll set to 10 again. We'll add a parameter behavior, this time we'll use wriggle. And we will play with these settings. I'll set the amount to 50. You can play with them and choose what you like. Frequency to 0.6 and the noisiness to 0.95. And then I'm just going to set the frequency range so that it just covers that first bar. And let's see. And there you have it. We've got a nice little effect going there um, on the base of, of our audio visualizer. Now what I'm going to do is replicate this 10 times. So that we have 11 in total, which will correspond to the number of bars that you see in the a audio visualizer graph. So I'll just keep <laughs> duplicating this until I've got 11 of them. And there you go, I have 11. And so what I'll do is I'll go to the first one and then I'm gonna set this one to be X position minus 750. And to make a deliberate mistake, I'll set the Y um, position to minus 175. And we'll click that and you can see it's positioned it. Now I'm going to move to the last replicator and I'm going to set this to 750. And the position on Y to minus 175. And we'll just click that as done. Okay, now we're going to highlight all of them by pressing shift. And then we will go to object alignment distribute horizontal centers. Now it's distributed, but we've got a problem. Go to alignment and adjust bottom edges. And now we've got them all aligned and sitting nicely um, together. I'm gonna go to the group and just position our group of replicators where we want that to be positioned. And there you have it. You've got a um, nice little effect, but they're all still moving in the same way. Uh, this is where we need to go into each one and alter the movement. So we're going to start with the end one. We'll hit the replicator, but we need the replicator cell. So we'll find the replicator cell. Go to behaviors and we'll find our behavior. We're just going to adjust this all the way across all 11. And you can see that's altered the shape already hit the random seed of the randomizer 
go back to the replicator and then however many times you want hit the random seed of the, the replicator cell until you've got the shape you want. And we're going to now go and find number two. For number two in the line we're going to set that to two bars. And we're just going to drag that up two bars. We'll hit the random seed generator once, the replicator cell, we'll hit that twice. And again, you can see it's starting to create a nice little shape now. We'll do that for number three. And this is the last one I do, and then I will do them all and we'll come back after this. So we'll find our behaviors again for number three, and we'll set this now to three bars. Hit the replicator cell again, and also change the random seed here till you get the shape you want. I'm gonna do all 10 and I'll be right back. Okay, now that they're all done, you can see that we have a nice little effect going on and we have built ourselves a nice little audio visualizer. But it's a bit plain, so we need to make it look a little bit better. So we just close that group off. And what we're gonna do now is create a new group. And to that group, what we're gonna do is add rectangle, same as we did before. And we'll just plop the rectangle over the top, go to shape, change it to gradient. Again, I'm gonna choose the rainbow. And I'm gonna adjust the gradient, click, right click edit gradient and then we're just going to drag that out we've done all this in earlier tutorials you should be able to do this and then we'll just drag that out something like this to that rectangle i'm going to add an image mask and then i'm going to drag the group of part of replicators into the well and there you have it you've got this really nice audio visual effect going on it's a bit tall for my liking so we can alter that we'll just go to um, back to our group go to properties and scale and we can just reduce it down on Y to the size that you want it position it again on Y and maybe center it up a little bit better. Also, if there are too many, you don't want all 11 bars going at the same time. There are other things that you can do. Um, and you don't have to have all 11 se segments. So if we go back to our replicator group, choose the replicator cell so you'd need to do this with your first one, the replicator cell, then you can have as many bars as you want for each group. So you might want to have two or three for each group, or even more maybe if you don't, if you only want three. You could set it to each group to base, mid, or treble. Um, there's a lot of things that you can play with um, to make the audio visualizer that you like, but it really is a nice effect. And that's it for this video, and if you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. And don't forget to pop along to our Facebook group for that extra additional support. So play around with the settings, get to know what the audio behavior can do. And in part two, we're going to be looking at how we made the text dance and then how we did that little heartbeat monitor. And all that remains to be said is see you in the next video.